What's poppin' is your boy Mike Powers back again, and you mofos is lucky enough to have clicked this video, the first ever episode of Expensive Conversation, Mike Powers, and your boy Matt Stack straight out of Norway. What's poppin', my dude? What's good? All What's right. Good? It's, it's How nervous? Thirty in the morning. How Not nervous, nervous are you? Tell me the truth. Ten uh, from zero to one hundred, probably twenty, fifteen. Now, you know, we talk that shit. We talk that shit on the Mike Power Show, and this is going to be no different. It's just more of a long-form conversation. I guess maybe mm -hmm. not as many edits. Uh, for those of you that like to get uh, deep in the weeds, into the conversation of it, that barbershop talk, you know what I mean? That's what we're going to be doing here. Do not forget to join the Discord so you can be a part of this conversation even after this video is over. I'm talking about Mike Powers. And uh, it's got the hashtag sign, and then there's, I sound old as fuck. Five nine four six, I believe, is the number to that room. Join that Discord because we're gonna be doing live shows, and I'm gonna be wanting y'all to call in, y'all that hate me. Some of y'all that said that Conway is not really all that. I'm gonna want to talk to you directly, y'all scholars out there that's been following this movement since day one. I need y'all in this Discord to continue this conversation. Mike Powers. Five nine four six. That's the number. Check me out on that shit. Uh, Matt Stacks. Something very interesting happened the other day. I want to uh, start off by talking to you about that. Okay, you was on my ass. Pause. About Nicholas Craven. First of not all, the white dude, not the white dude, the Irish dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, people, people, no, but people got me wrong because I you said the Irish, no, the white dude, and I said yeah, I think he's Irish. People <laughs> no, thought I said no. people thought I said no, no, he's Irish. <laughs> oh, somebody came at you. See now, I'm used to it. So now y'all got to go light on my man Stacks. He didn't expect all that. He didn't expect that video to get so many views. It went from eleven thousand. It's up to twenty. And I, I did want to say, you're getting a lot of uh, a great feedback from people uh, on that appearance. They're like, yo, Matt Stacks brought the real. So I let them know you was going to be coming back. And lo and behold, here the fuck you are. But look, Nicholas Craven. You was talking to me about Nicholas Craven for weeks. And then you finally brought it to my attention on camera. Uh, the Ransom Project. Talk to me about the Ransom Director's Cut 1 and 2. Go into that real quick, because I got something to say about Nicholas after you're done with that. It's a, it's a real theme project they've been doing. Uh, and they got one and two, and they got number three coming real soon. And I, lo I just love everything about it. You know, yeah. I love everything about it. It's all the even the tracks, even the tracks are called, are named after like these iconic movies. And it's, 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 you, you gotta, you gotta listen to it. It's hard to explain it because it's been, it's been this rap game. It's been barren for so long, you know. Right, right. I mean, and then, and then these cats come along and ransom been, ransom been doing his things for decades. I gotta turn my heater off. I got a heater over here, and I forgot <laughs> to turn it off before we start recording. But yeah, so, and ransom is so prolific. Now yeah. again, last hope was the first song I heard from. You hit the last hope. Yeah, okay. then you, you can feel you can feel he lived that shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, dude is crazy though. I don't know how old he is. I feel like I've been, I've been listening to Ransom forever, so I feel like he must be seventy four, but obviously not. Now those headphones right there, that's your gaming shits right there. Yeah, I'm a heavy gamer. <laughs> not gonna lie, you're, you're gonna catch me. You're see, gonna catch me on Twitch. You're gonna catch me on Twitch soon. As soon as my setup gets right, I'm about to get the Twitch jumping off. Yeah. Okay, you yeah. to, you're looking at the new ninja from Norway. That's like three ends right there. The new ninja, I didn't say nigga. I said the new ninja from Norway. Don't get it twisted. Look, because when I use my headphones, people maybe not know this, but these are my gaming headphones. Because I'm a Call yeah. of Duty guy. Please don't try to, y'all out there, don't ask me what my gamer tag is. Because um, I stink at the game. And if you don't protect me on the map, I got a personal problem with you. So we're not going to play together. But that's yeah. my mic right there. The mic go right in, right in this joint right here. So we doing the same thing, but we keeping it thorough. You yeah. Know what I mean? And I'm and so. So let me go. Talking about Discord, I'm always on Discord on several channels. And if you want to come on there and talk, I'm always on there. That's what's up. So y'all can get up with Matt Stacks, test his gangster, his knowledge base, and all that good shit uh, on Discord. Mike Powers five nine four six. He's Just always put the, the link in. Put the link in the description. 
Okay, because okay. I'm old. I forget to do shit like that, but you I will. Should have, you should have, like, the link coming across the screen, like. Now, yeah, so right now, that's what they're looking at. They look at that. <laughs> that boy, shit. That shit in the software. He stepped up. <laughs> no, but I'm always on there, and I will always, I will, I will stay in your channel, and if people want to chat or even game, I, I yeah, let, let's do it. So, Nicholas Craven, bro. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, what happened was the other day, of course, um, I got a couple of videos that's blowing up, but, and I don't even know, Nicholas Craven said something to me in the comments. Um, oh, the video about Funkmaster Flex, which is catching all kind of burn right now. Uh, yeah, Conway's you, trash. <laughs> you were on that show. You were on mm. that show. Um, and Nicholas Conway's Craven, here disclaimer, to Con what? Disclaimer, disclaimer, Conway's not trash. He is okay. not fucking trash. The okay. moment, amazing, obviously, right? So Nicholas Craven reached out to me on uh on YouTube and said thanks for talking. And I didn't know what the fuck. I had to go click the video. I forget everything, even shows that I do. I don't know what the fuck happened in those shows. I do them shits in the moment. So, and I'm like, yo, Nicholas Craven just fucking reached out to me, and I play it cool on camera, but I was fanboying like a motherfucker because I love the soundscapes. And um, who knows? I'm in, I'm in talks with Nicholas Craven. We might do something in terms of getting him on the platform, having that deep conversation about what the music is. But I have to say thank you for being in my ass pause again about Nicholas Craven because had you not brought that to my attention, then um, Nicholas Craven would have never reached out. And that was a, a fantastic moment for me. So thank you for that. Nah, you would, you would, I would have gotten to you eventually oh you're a persistent you know, motherfucker yeah, i'm sorry i'm not sorry but you know <laughs> i'm gonna ask you to speak up a little bit i know see y'all he told me he was tired before this shit now, it's 2 30 in the morning this is it's how oh, okay so it's 2 30 in the morning in norway i respect it but see this is how you know that um he got black in him because he knew he was supposed to do this shit today but yeah he stayed up all night last night that's some real black shit I mean, at least he showed up on time. I was late today, and I don't like being late, but that's what happened. Benny the fucking Butcher. Let's talk about Benny the Butcher. Okay. Benny the fucking Butcher, who's having an amazing run. He yeah. got some stuff coming out that we're going to be talking about on another show. I got that coming up. But he signed this a wavy artist. Did you hear about this? Yeah, I, I heard about it. I haven't checked it out. You heard about this kid that he signed? Dude, he signed this kid. Let me, I'm looking at it on my phone right now. This Black guy's Soprano. name is Flex Baby. Oh, yeah? Three X's and two Y's. Flex Baby. This, I clicked the video. It's wavy. It's, okay, let me be honest. It's garbage. Um, it's kind of like how I feel about that Gucci or Prada or Versace, you, what that chick they signed? Oh, Armani, I think her name is. Armani, Armani Diamonds or something. Right, yeah. so uh, yeah, that was not good. And this dude is garbage. And so the question, you gotta, <laughs> this is a question that immediately comes to my mind. How much flack do we give a person like that for signing garbage oh, yeah. ass mumbo rap? This, I mean, what, he's at, he's at, it's not in the BSF and E1 Entertainment. Benny, Benny got the uh, BSF thing jumping off with uh, E1. So now he's going to be a, a mogul in the making. What do we think about him making a move like that? Getting into the Atlanta sound? Was that the Atlanta kid? I believe he is from Atlanta. Yeah. I mean, that is, that is a money-making move. And I'm not sure what I feel about that. Right. Um, I mean, you, gotta, you get the paper. From, right. from several sources and if I think I read something about he was actually popping in the streets of Atlanta he would have had to be he would have had yeah. to be yeah and I mean if, if they're trying to branch out and if it's actually if it's from Atlanta and he's doing the Atlanta thing then sure but if you're not from Atlanta and you do the Atlanta thing I kind of eh. 
No, I believe this dude is actually from Atlanta. Um, what I think West, I think he said in this article. No, that was West Side. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, but he, I think Benny said in this particular piece, I think he said, why fuck with a New York dude that sound like you're from Atlanta when I could just go to Atlanta? Yeah, exactly. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Here's my thought. It's complicated because did Griselda bring back the sound? Did they open a door for Flea Lord, Ito, uh, all these other dudes that's coming out? Um, yeah, they did. Breath of Fresh yeah. Air. Uh, pump life back into the culture. Uh, you, one might even say they saved underground East Coast hip hop. I mean, certainly New York tried to make a comeback four or five different times in the past like 15, 20 years. Yeah. Uh, I remember when Fat Joe and uh, Ja Rule and Jada came out with the song New York. Remember that, Joe? That was, that was, that was fire, wasn't it? And Jada. You can probably re, you can probably recite that whole Jada verse. Can't oh, you? you know I can. You already know I can. That shit is crazy, yo. Um, when he said "Wise is a walker," and you know that they say that you deserved it whenever you die with your eyes open. Eyes I, open, yeah. I could have died right then and there. I mean, I could have literally ended my life. I would have been satisfied having heard that level of lyricism. Um, Jada looking at I this just... video like you, you a fraud. You tried to say Rock Marsano was better than me. <laughs> That is some soprano shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was so fucking, you know, he's like, hey, I'm still in the hood like them little motorcycles. Like, <laughs> that's a, at the time, that's what was going on in the hood. Like, in, in America, they had they had these little mini-ass motorcycles. Did y'all have that in Norway? Yeah, we did. Just like these tiny boxcars fucking motorcycles. Yeah, People look like... ass men, 250-pound dudes. <laughs> riding on these little ghetto-ass motorcycles. <laughs> You look like a clown. You look like a clown on those tiny bicycles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But he brings. I remember. I remember. I remember. Cameron and Jim Jones did some shit on those bastards. Like, man. But Cameron always looks dope, no matter what he does. He can. And Jim Jones, he can stand in the middle of Harlem with a pink umbrella, dancing on a piano, and he did that. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. At the risk of uh, having somebody come to my house and beat the dog shit out of me, because I love these dudes, and I'm off topic, but fuck it. Because, you know, when me and you get into it, shit. So, listen, who was, who got they butt whooped in the park on that video from Dipset? And who was the one that ran? Remember the video? Did you, did you see that? Which one? There was a video in a park where one of the dips got jumped. You never saw the video. Yeah, I did. But that's years ago. I know. You talking about like, what? It got to be 15 years? 15, At least. 16, 16. Maybe it was Cam that got jumped and Jim ran. I don't know. Let me stop. Uh, the disclaimer. I'm talking out my ass. I apologize. I'm sorry. Dipset, Dipset fans, my apology. I'm talking too much. So let's go back to, what was we talking about? Craven? No, we weren't talking about Craven. Are you high? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> you Benny. can't prove anything. Yeah, Benny, Benny. We were talking about Benny, and is he fucking up with this? Okay, so did they bring back New York? Yes, they brought back New York. So you could say that they did something incredibly awesome for the culture, clearly. They, they did. I feel like they, I keep repeating myself, but they reignited the spark in old heads, you know? And so... They brought back the love for the art, especially... Like what you can talk, talk trash about West Side all you want, but West Side Gun is a genius. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. And people underestimate his 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 lyrics. Um, he, I, he he he's not he's not Nas. He's not Cool G rap. Right, but right, but the way he puts it, it's just art. The the way he does it, from the packaging to the vinyl to the artwork to the sound, his entire framework. You know, you know what a West Side Gun product sound like expect gun ad libs that's just what i'm saying <laughs> and listen play, pray for paris i gotta say this while i'm off topic again pray for paris the thing about the ad libs when people is in my if y'all in my comment section and you come in there and you say i'm sick of his annoying ass voice his stupid fucking ad libs let me tell you something pray for paris it's not just ad libs where motherfuckers just do do listen each ad lib is placed perfectly mixed perfectly yeah. Every, I'm talking about across the whole entire album, every ad lib is perfectly placed. Quit playing with me about 
West Side fucking gun if you don't understand it. If you want to say his voice is annoying, okay, to each his own. But don't tell me that this dude is completely fucking whack because it's a method to the fucking madness. And the movement that you see taking over the rap game right now is a plan that was devised by Fly God. Let's get a man his props. Fly God is ground zero. Real talk. Real talk. We're not playing no games when it comes to this Griselda over here. We're we not going to do that. On the other hand, are they fucking up rap? Because they saving it to a, to a degree. They're like the saviors. But then you get a guy like Flex Baby, who is the absolute opposite of what we need in hip hop. We don't, yeah. we don't need kids being turned on to that. But now Benny is the person that's behind it. How do we feel about it? It's complicated. I'm going to give him a pass. I'm going to give him a pass. I I feel I I want I want I want when I listen to Griselda I want to know what I'm listening to like this is Griselda no doubt with this kid it steps out of that Griselda framework you feel me that is and I'm not doing this because I just like Griselda and I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings because you you saw what I did with the Lulu review I said what the fuck I felt about it it wasn't my cup of tea. Uh, but I, I want to give Benny a pass because of how important the work that Griselda is doing for hip hop is. But, and this is a money grab, clearly. I, I guess it could be, it's like what they say about pimping. People get mad at pimps sometimes. And they say, well, that's a horrible thing you're doing. It's like, well, she going to sell it whether I'm here or not. <laughs> Yeah, it's it, if people are buying, who are you to not sell? So that's that fucking argument. Like, if he can make three million off of this dude in the next nine months or year and a half, would I, I would I turn to... down that money? I, I probably wouldn't turn down that money. I feel dirty nah. about this shit, though. Oh, he, he's on age. He's Benny is. is Benny the, no Conway's the oldest, but Benny is like thirty six, thirty seven, and he's just now popping. So the, 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 the desire to go get that bag is real. So I'm not going to hate on them too much. No, um, no. But it's something to but think I, about, something for y'all to talk about in the comments. I just don't want, who am I to say I don't want, but I just hope they don't put that Griselda water label or the, the Griselda watermark on the tracks and that Scorpion and all that shit. <laughs> now, you know, I want to throw hands with you because you got that fucking hoodie. Um, I talked to their fucking designer. Oh, that leads me right into Willie the Kid. So what's crazy is this whole run that we're having, a lot of people subscribing. Thank you all for subscribing. Each and every one of y'all is contributing to the growth and the success of the channel. So thank you. I certainly appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm, as you can tell in the comments, I'm very obsessive about talking to every single person that's leaving a comment and I won't have the time to do that forever. God damn, I haven't done nothing since uh, last Thursday, except for answer comments in the comment section. And I do love the conversation, but a motherfucker gotta go get some money. But in the comment section, a guy named Limited Edition 365. Yeah. I believe his real name is Neff. Um, he got up with me and said that he knew West Side Gun Benny and those guys. I think he said he introduced West Side Gun to Rock Marciano. I'm like, well, who the fuck is this dude? He said, yo, you got to go listen to Willie the Kid, though. He said, I've been knowing West Side Gun and them dudes from way back in the day, but this dude, Willie the Kid, you got to go to datpiff.com, type in Buff City. I went to datpiff.com, typed in Buff City, and Griselda got so much shit on there from back in the day. It's ridiculous. But then I went and listened to Willie the Kid, and that dude got barred. So uh, limited edition 365, shout out for leading me in the proper direction. That dude is on my list, and he will be featured at some point. I just got to do my studies because I got to know what the fuck I'm talking about when I come to the table. But I thought that was wild. And he said to me, yeah, I know West Side Gun. I design the logo that's on your chest right now. The uh, <laughs> score the scorpion. The GXFR logo. He designed yeah, yeah. it. And I said, I thought to myself, really? And I went to his IG. He did design that motherfucker. And I'm still trying to get him to, I don't need it for free, bro. 
I just need you to tell me how to get it. I'm talking to Neff right now. Limited edition 365. Uh, you can see his IG. I think it's at LE365. I think his IG is. I'll put it on the screen probably. I just want to know how I can, because the merch is always sold out if you go to Fly God Shop. Like, when was the last time you was uh, on Fly God Shop? Uh, a week and a half ago. Was it sold out? Everything? Everything. Everything. Yeah. I want one of them shorts. Have you seen them shorts? No. With a Russian kind of cap with little letters on it? Man, that's dope. For real? Like, I mean, what, 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 what are like, they look like the, um, the shorts he was wearing in that, what the fuck is that video where he was wearing? You remember uh, Flea Lord in the 38 Special, um, uh, Perfect Plate? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, I, and you got that uh, sweatshirt, you said three months ago or something? Yeah, something like that. Okay, because I've be, I been on them for like six months trying to find out uh, when I could get the merch, and it's always sold out, which is a testament not, not only to how popular Griselda is and how good the fashion is over there, but the way he curates his shit to make it limited edition. Everybody can't mm -hmm. get the shit, bro. It ain't going to be 80,000 of those sweatshirts on the street. It's just a, it's a select fucking few. You basically have to follow him on social media and just turn on not notifications for all his posts and just hope you're lucky. And somebody going to say, and I, I would agree, I'm doing a lot of talking this fucking show. And so I'm going to put you on the fucking spot. He tried, like I said, he told me he was like tired. We about to wake the motherfucker up. Um, you is the guy that brings forward the suggestions. You dig in the yeah. fucking crates. Shit that motherfuckers don't know about. So what the fuck do you got for me this time? I got, I was thinking I would bring forth two albums just like last time. Okay. I got one that was released last Friday. And then another one that was, it's close to a year now, but I, it's, you probably, I still can put cats on, I think. Even though it's nearly a year old. So where do you want to start? New or old? Oh, shit. Let's start new. Edo. Does he have an album? Edo uh, released the beauty of it. Uh, the album called Beauty. Okay, it's a week and a half now. Last Friday. The last, last Friday. Friday. Beauty yeah. of it. The beauty of it. Have you listened to the joint? Ooh, you know how Grisella is... You want to, again, with the group, but he's deeply affiliated with Grisella. You want to describe them as kind of like sinister and grimy? Yeah. I, I feel like Ito is sinister and beautiful. Right now, because you might help me out right here, because it's going to take some pressure off of me that I don't have to review this album. If you could give me some kind of quick breakdown, what's going on with this project? Mm, how should I put it? Um... He just, he, he recruited so many, he can make his own beats. You know, you knew that. Okay. We all knew that. Yeah. He, he's been in, he's been in the game for, I remember, I remember this Edo mixtape for like 2006 and it looked like this cash money cover. But anyway, he recruited so many, finally got it popping and he recruited so many producers on there. He got Alchemist and Danger, Static Selecta, Marco Polo. He got Green Lennon, Large Professor. I mean, it's such a dream team of producers. And the way he's been refining his cadence, that's the one thing that gets me with Ido. Not necessarily the bars or the wordplay. He's sick with the wordplay, but it's his whole cadence, you know? He's improved so, he's improved so much over the last couple of years since that thing he did with Nicholas Craven. <laughs> uh, I remember that was one of the things I was trying to put you on that. Yeah, Rizzuto. Rizzuto and um, I don't it? remember. I don't. I got it written now, in, but... in one of these notebooks, though. I think I listened to a couple. I think I, I was playing Call of Duty one day and I listened to the whole fucking thing and it was good. It was mm -hmm. good. I was just getting to know you then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You when you was like, "Yo, you," I remember you put that in the comment and I listened to it when I was playing Call of Duty. But you know, my shit from Etho is. Flower City. Oh. Ooh, it's special. Oh, my God. <laughs> and how, how about intro with Benny and Special? Oh, my God, dude. Intro. Dude, first of all, Spesh is stupid. Spesh is stupid, man. He don't Spesh get got Spesh got six or seven albums so far in 2020. Is that all? Because I thought it was more. He, he, got, <laughs> he did Trust Gang. 
What else he do? He did Shay. Didn't he do Shay already? He did Chain Noir. He did the Planet Asia for y'all. He did. Mm. He did. That's what I said. Trust. Right. Trust the chain. He did trust Shay. Chain. Chain he did um, Rashid Chapel. He dropped two Trust Armies. Yeah, and Rashid Chapel. He did. Um, he did a thousand words. This was that. Thousand it? words. He did that joint, which I gotta go back and listen to that album again. Motherfucker sleeping. Go check a thousand words and thirty eight special. Just go listen to it. The first yeah, track but, is gonna blow your fuck. Is who's on the first track of that? Did I? Never mind. I'm high. Never mind. Uh, but 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 yeah, same. Uh, but uh, but you know uh, the beauty of it. Um, he man, he 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 got some sick sick. People under he got Flea Lord and Graf, he got Vinnie Pass, Ill Bill. It's like these major New York throwbacks. And did you ever listen to um did you ever listen to Ito and DJ Muggs Hell's Roof? No. Because that was the joint they did and because he was Is that I a remember, song or an album? That is an album. I remember DJ Muggs was trying to get back in the game and he reached out to Ito and Ito said, Yeah, I'm working on this project called Hell's Roof because he's from a place in new york they call hell's roof i think i don't know i'm not that good on local i know hell's geography. kitchen is um is yeah what they call new york city right yeah so yeah, yeah. Hell's so, roof might, but, but no 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 you got to back up though so if you if you if you ever listen to if one of any of y'all listen to hell's roof you know what you're getting on the beauty of it it's just better i feel like it's better so we're gonna get back to that dj muggs you said he wanted to get back yeah. in the game dj muggs was out of the game for a minute not, I don't know about out, but he's been putting out so many albums lately with DJ. You know, DJ with he having Edo. a resurgence, what you saying? Yeah, he got one with Ito, Rock Marciano. He got. Yeah, I could name name a few. So yeah, but I I, I just heard a brand new Rock Marciano cut. It, that that's um. Oh my god! So you talk to me about while well, I look on my phone for this. Talk to me about one out of ten on this album. Still, after first listen, I was like, it's 7.5 kind. And then it grew on me, and I think I'm on 8, 8.5 now. That's fucking good, it, bro. It's, as of now, I hate rating albums, but it's Price of Tea in China, and Trust Chain, and JLX, and Edo. They are definite highlights of the year so far. And Raw Deal is old. Raw Deal by Rock Marciano is old, I know, I think. It won't show me the song. It's going to fuck around and play it if I... If I yeah, Raw, Raw Deal, Raw, that's 2010. That's Marsburg. You know what I just looked at? You know what just happened on my phone? I just... I said Soul Assassin DJ Muggs. And it says Soul Assassin... D and I hit it because I couldn't see the whole title, so I want to know what the title was. It's Mac Hami. Yeah. It's called Contagion Theory. Have you heard that? I'm not yeah. gonna play it now because I don't want to get copyright. But yeah, um, and then it did, and then it did dump assassins with Fahim and another one with Makami and who Mugs? Yeah. <laughs> wow. See, that's what I'm saying. It's too much good shit out. I cannot be up on every single thing as bad as I want to be, bro. So right oh, now you, you got this Edo album being an eight. Yeah. I, I, okay. I'm I'm gonna land on eight for now. Let me ask you a question. The first song on the joint. This is very important to me. The very first song when it come on, he he pulls you in. The very first joint is kind of this sinister short intro thing, so I don't want to put that into there. But the next song is with Flea Lord and Graf. Banger. Bang her. I don't even know her, but it's a bang her. <laughs> it's <laughs> <laughs> banger. I don't even know her, but mom, yeah. I didn't say that. Ma, I didn't say that. <laughs> He did. <laughs> on, he no, him, but yeah, he, he got Flea Lord and Graf on her and immediately just first the beat grab you, then the rhyme stab you. Oh, you guys, you I, got bars now? I quoted MF Doom for you. <laughs> <laughs> I got bars. I, I'm not that type of dude. <laughs> he said, hey, MF Doom, look, everybody, everybody going to be like, oh, I never heard an MF Doom song. I'm sorry. I know it's so many people that's affiliated with him. I know he's the father of a lot of people. Did he leave? Oh, what the fuck? What is that? That's to, is, is that an embossed weed plate? <laughs> people will know. 
cannot, this is not made for camera. Hey, what is that? This contraband? Wait, let me see. Oh, those are cassettes? Yo, collector's exclusive shit. Collector's edition of Operation Doomsday. It's the, yeah, it's the green cassettes and it's the instrumental cassette and yeah. Man, did y'all think Matt Stacks was fucking around? Is that what the fuck you thought? You thought he was playing around with this hip hop son? That's why you're on the show, man. That's why. If anybody's sitting around asking when you click the video, there go Mike Powers. Why is this white dude with the beard, with the weird fucking accent, why is he here? That's why he fucking here. Quit asking us fucking questions. Now, left lane did on. Yeah, nice that dude. Was a, nice that guy. was a moment, bro, when I did the interview with, with dude. Very humble cat. Really liked the guy. And I'm bringing up his name just because I want people to pay more attention to him. Still. Um, your impression of his music uh, since you didn't really got on to him? <sighs> he is really a poet, you know? Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. A po he's a poet in game. And that Dump Apocalypse album, man, I can't I like get enough accent. of that. He said Dump Apocalypse. He said it Dump differently. Dump Apocalypse. Yeah, yeah, but I can't, I can't get enough of that tape. And I don't know who is the star of that tape. You got Fahim, Hami, and Diran. Did I say that right? Yeah. Did on. Did on. It took me like on. Uh, it took me three weeks to learn how to say did on. People came at me in a comment like, "Do your research, bitch." So I did my research. Did on. Did on. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I like the dude a lot. And dude. the whole the whole dump camp is man. They got so many spinners, dude. Yeah. You got so, Jay Nice is over there. Yeah, Jay's Nice and all the affiliates like Chris Gills. Chris Gills. All Hail YT. All Hail YT. Uh, Stack Grills. Yeah, man, man. Them dumb dudes. Nasty. They time mm. is coming. They about to blow. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and if, you just, start, if you start researching Left Lane, you'll be there for a few weeks. He's got a ton of projects. He does. He does. He does. I just love how Earl Sweatshirt is messing with these dudes, too. Yes. Earl went is. all the, went all the way from Tyler and that shit over to this yeah our our fucking landscape. I love that. I watched a video of um Odd Future a week ago, yeah. and it was a video. Maybe you help me out. Maybe you know the title of it. They was in a in a, in a it was a one shot video in a room Oldie. with like thirty people. Oldie, is that what it's? Oh yeah. And it was it's awesome. Like a, it, yeah, it's, it's one of the best. It's one of, what do you call it? Like, um, when you, yeah, yeah, but yeah, keep going. You want to say it's like a, a, a symphony, like a brand new version of the symphony? Or maybe yeah, that you was, yeah that's what I'm after. That's what I'm after. I'm sorry, it's three, three o'clock right now. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that, Matt Stacks. <laughs> hey, yo, but, and everybody spit on that track. Earl spit on that motherfucker and he went bonkers. Tyler is a spitter, yo. Tyler when can he, flow. Especially when he gets that goblin flow going. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a bad impersonation, but <laughs> that, that goblin flow, man. Man. My yeah. son turned me on to Our Future years ago, and I liked the, the way they rap, but he would be saying, Tyler would be saying so much weirdo shit. I was like, I'm, I'm sure I can't listen to this in my car because people won't understand what the fuck is going on and why I'm doing this. And Earl, I just was attached to Earl from fucking day one, bro. Like, um, and yeah. then I've, I got a newfound respect for what the gifts that Tyler brings to the table. Tyler, the creator is just stupid with the lyrics, man. He crazy. He's, he's a, he's an artist. You got to respect the fact yeah. that he's an yeah. artist. He's, he's, he's not a pure rapper. He's how surprising was that to see him show up on, on West side gun album, talk about glitter on his fingernails. <laughs> It was Push who said, "I I make I'm I make coke rap glamorous, or I'm the only one that make coke rap glamorous or some shit." But he make just any kind of rap glamorous. I feel Tyler. Well, you know? I, I mean, I want to say he makes it fabulous. Fabulous, <laughs> that's the word. <laughs> fabulous. I'm just gonna leave I mean, it. I, at I that. mean, if you want, if you want dudes, that's on him. I'm not gonna. No. Yeah, I mean, more power to you. It just was weird for me to see a dude like, okay, Tyler, a spitter. You, he did this shit on purpose. Like, that's the way he yeah. fucking thinks. He could have came on there and not said nothing about glitter and fingernails. Yeah, But, but yeah. he said, I'm going to be with the grimiest dude on the planet. 
and still say some weirdo shit like this. Like it don't fit on that album, but he probably has the best verse on the entire Pray for Paris album. That's just my opinion. Probably. I and mean, then who, he made and then he made up for it with a beat. The um, what's that beat? A pop smoke beat. Party with pop smoke. I want to yeah. say that's the right one. I could be wrong. I think I will, that's one. So, and then we go get to your old thing in a minute. I want to talk about this story because I could talk about some frivolous shit on here. Usher so, was talking, yeah. was having an a interview with somebody recently. And by the way, Usher and LMA's jam, uh, Don't Waste My Time, is incredible. I was on that like four months ago. It took him a long time to make the video. Video was hot. Diddy's son is in it, acting like Diddy, like a 2020 version of Diddy. But the video is blazing. And I like, uh, I think it's just... <laughs> You about open to, the about, video. Did you see my open last video? video where, dancing. <laughs> did Did you um see the video where I talk? Where I was telling white people don't record yourself dancing. Did you see that video? <laughs> Please don't. And it's not even dancing. It's just like <laughs> Fortnite spasms. <laughs> Yo, that was crazy. But um, so yeah, I'm talking about Usher the video. Don't waste my time. Fantastic song. They waited too long to shoot the video. I don't know why. Uh, so they lost the momentum that they could have had for that song. But go check that out if, if y'all like uh, Usher, if you like LMA. LMA is, to me, the new Mary J. Blige. Um, but Usher, they was talking about a versus battle. Uh, I think maybe they were talking about Lil' Kim versus Nicki Minaj. Usher said, and this caused apparently controversy all over the internet, that Usher said that Nicki Minaj is a product of Lil' Kim. Your thoughts? I feel, yeah. Okay. All right. Now, should Nikki feel... <laughs> you, 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 you want me to elaborate? Or... <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what, you, that's what the fuck you got a microphone for. I, I, mean... I haven't given that too much thought because I don't... I like a f couple of Nicki Minaj tracks. I like the old Nicki a lot. Like what old like, Nicki? The the things from I don't, like YouTube recordings from her on the streets. Where oh yeah, okay. Spits. That grimy shit in the and, fucking yeah. in the project staircase shit. Yeah, that type of stuff. And then she got a track. I'm probably gonna get flagged for mentioning this, but she got a track with Rick Ross and Cameron, and that shit is banging. Really? <laughs> yeah, I can listen to that all day. Not all day, a couple of times a day, but yeah, that shit is dope. I was so anti Nikki for the longest time because it was yeah. all it was all booty, it was all sexuality. Anaconda. It was all anaconda and all that crap. And I'm like, I just I need some bars, and I know she could spit. And it was like, but the one pop song she had, I remember I was DJing in the club. I want to say Starships. 2010. Starships. Starships, which is a song that Ellen really loves. Um, but I was DJing 2010 in the club, and she had a song. Do, 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 do. Remember that shit? Yeah, that's Starships, ain't it? No, that's not Starships, bro. Starships is like a um, like a like a pit bull style fucking. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's on the beach dancing, yeah. just flow rider around. kind of thing. That's what that yeah. is. This was um, <laughs> your love. It's called your love. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 I remember. Yeah, yeah, that was a big song. I actually liked that fucking song. But everything else she did, it was like, yeah. I mean, and I'm I'm a I'm a Queen Latifah. I'm an MC Light. I mean, that's like, that's where I come I'm a, from. I, I'm a ladybug mecca. Can I tell you a story about that? That's good. Yeah. You, do you want to talk to me about Digable Planets? You got something to say about them? Because I, I got something to say. One of my favorite groups of all time, man. Really? I don't I don't know if I like Blow Out Coon or... Blow Out Coon had um, a couple cuts on it, though. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I like that one or the first one better. Re no, yeah, no. I don't oh, know. Rebirth the Slick, that joint classic so mm. that's like reaching, the, it's like the food reach, you reach for. reaching and all yeah man oh I, reaching yeah bro yo listen other so, other other fish yeah keep going i was doing a job that had something to i had to pick them up from the airport big little planets and now I'm giving away my age because I'm driving in like 94, 95, <laughs> but whatever. So <laughs> I picked them up from the airport. Listen, this um, Doodle Bug, not the main lyricist, but he, the other lyricist. Mm -hmm. Fuck, I'm, forgive me. He wanted to go play basketball. And they were planets? They wanted to go play basketball. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
fuck. I'm about to tell too much shit. So I, t- I, <laughs> I have a basketball court, 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 court. I have a basketball court in my yard. <laughs> Words are hard. <laughs> <laughs> at, the, at that point in my life, I was that was my mom's house. I had a basketball court in the yard. My dad had built it, asphalt, ten foot rim, steel pole, the works. And so I said, "Fuck it." I took Diggable Planets to my house. We played basketball against Diggable Planets in my yard. Ladybug babysat my son he was a baby and my son was there it was summertime she didn't play ball so she just held my son and fed my son and then i took him to the mall it was a cool cool moment my son caught up with ladybug like two years ago on like facebook or some shit she's still cool i mean she she went to she started djing and she hot as hell (laughs) yes sorry yes don't be sorry i know my girl gonna look at it and say nigga it's over but I'm doing a fucking show, and he's just telling the truth. That's what we do out here. So, why the hell? How do we end up talking about diggable planets? I don't know. know. Let, let's go back to uh, Ito. <laughs> or you got something else to say? No, I was. Oh, Usher and the Nicki Minaj thing. Yeah. Okay, Nick, yeah. so Nicki Minaj is uh, a product of Lil Kim. Should what do they call them girls that like Nicki Minaj? Like Bar- his fast rap Barbs? Barbie dolls, like fast Barbs. rap Barbie dolls. Yeah. <laughs> Should. <laughs> Should they be uh, going at Usher's neck? Somebody said in the comment section on, on, on one of these articles, wait for the queen to make Usher relevant again. As if Usher's not relevant. As, as, if, as if he needs that. Who's talking about irrelevant? It's Usher. Right, right, exactly. So I, I don't know, do you think Usher was within his right to say that? Should he have said it out loud or what the fuck? Like... Yeah, well, let's just say what the fuck you... it is. Yeah, Nicki Minaj is the fucking product of fucking Lil Kim. She started yeah. this shit. Fuck wrong with y'all. Yeah, but yeah, but even though even though she might not have written all her shit, maybe Lil Cease or Biggie wrote her shit. She's she still had that entire aura, you know, that entire package of of just selling selling what she sold, basically. Um, and she paved and she paved the way for that. Yes. And I would, and with the Kim shit, I wasn't all with the whole sexual. The thing about Kim, though, she brought lyrics and she brought that grimy. Listen, her feature on Quiet Storm. Yeah. Just all y'all bitches stop talking. Excuse me for using the word bitch. Y'all females ain't bitches. But you know what the fuck I mean. Shut the fuck <laughs> <I'm> up. Just... <laughs> Everybody shut the, the cat, fuck up. What did Cat Williams said? I'm only calling. I'm only calling you bitches. I'm only calling you latest bitches because I don't know your names individually. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. But y'all got to stop. T- oh, don't, unless y'all do a verse that's better than what Lil' Kim did on the remix of Quiet Storm, why are you fucking even speaking? That goes for you too, Nicki Minaj. You don't got nothing better than that verse. Nothing in your catalog is better than her verse on Quiet Storm, period. Now, could you go in a lab and write something and maybe go into the studio and make it better than little Kim? Well, no. Have you heard the beat? Can you hear Prodigy and have on there? Fuck you gonna do with that? Absolutely not a goddamn thing. You better cut this girl a check of royalties. Am I gonna ruin the mood and said mom, the thing she did on Monster with Kanye was kind of cool? No, everybody says that. Everybody That's says kinda- Monster was like incredible. Yes, I agree. It's it's, it's cool. It's cool. It's I mean, cool. I miss the old, I miss the old Kanye as much as anyone else. But yeah, that was, that that shit was kind of cool. She got <laughs> some bars, bro. But I mean, you, yeah. somebody do something like you gonna talk to me about pop music or R and B music? Let's say you gonna talk to me about pop music, and you are gonna say, "Oh, I got this song that's better than Billie Jean." No, you don't. No, no, <laughs> no, no, you no. Don't. Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. You don't have anything in your catalog. That is going to be better. It might be as good as a lot of great pop songs, like Fireworks. Katy Perry comes to mind. Great pop song. Is it better than Billie Jean? Fuck no. You're never going to be better than fucking Billie Jean. Who want to fight me I mean, in this section? That is on the top bracket. I mean, you can't get get above the top bracket. It's impossible. You know? I don't Billie, know Jean is in, Billie Jean is in the top bracket, and you might, you might want to play some weekend shit in there, too. But it's not better. 
the weekend's new shit. Don't get me started on the weekend. I'm showing my bad angles. I'm showing my fat side. But um, hey, <laughs> he said the fat side. Everything is fat on this dude. Um, <laughs> step pause. to the fat side. Yeah. Pause. Pause. What's the what's the old shit? What? You had some old shit. You said new shit, old shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Ido. <laughs> the beauty of it. The old shit. Uh, last time I brought up um, Quali Chris and Chris Keys. And I'm still studying Chris Keys. Quali, no, Quali Chris is the rapper. Chris Keys is the producer. Producers from Ireland. Quali Chris, Detroit. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got another Detroit cat for you because I just love that Detroit sound. You know, this is gonna be great because I thought I knew all about who was coming out of Detroit. You're not about to say Boldy James. No. You're not about to say fucking what's his name, Elzai. Is that how you pronounce his name? Who you yeah, gonna say? Nolan the Ninja. Nolan the Ninja. Nolan. Never heard of this fucking guy. The, the Ninja part is kind of corny. I'll give it that, but uh, he, he's still just a ninja with it. He is. He's he, uh, just as Quella Chris is signed to a mellow music group. And he produces, not on this album, but he produces a lot of his own shit. But the album I'm talking about is Sporty. Don't leave and... me down no fucking goofy path now. <laughs> hey, y'all see the face? Oh, he, he took it per. <laughs> I got to put the... <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, we lost Matt Stacks. <laughs> <laughs> What's the fucking glare on this shit? What is yeah, but anyway, yeah, this it's you got a cassette another, of this shit? It's another cassette for you. Of N Nolan the Ninja? Nolan the Ninja Sporty. It came out in like uh August last year. And What's his I style, bro? It is he's from he's <clears throat> Detroit boom bap in the school of J. Dilla meets Detroit, no, New York kind of style rapping. And I, I got put on him around that time last year. And I can't believe it took me like six years because that's exactly the type of shit I listen to. And if you want, if the, check out Nolan the Ninja, fuck the whack. I'm writing this shit down right here. Because I yeah. swear to God, and I do this all you, the time. Yeah, Whoever, you, you remember the box on MTV? Or no, not on MTV. You mean the, the box, the video music channel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, yeah. it used to be called Video Music Box. Then they called it The Box. Ralph McDaniels. Yeah, yeah. Shout to Ralph McDaniels. Yeah. <laughs> that whole music video, fuck the whack. I'm going to repeat that, fuck the whack. That whole music video starts with like this, the box, grainy, corny VHS kind of shit with A Tribe Called Quest and Souls of Mitchief and all that. And then Nolan Ninja comes on with fuck the whack and he just caught my attention immediately. It's just that good. And on this album, he got Chuck English. Some of y'all may I know about Chuck English. I've heard the name. And T3 of Slum Village is on there. And he's been working so hard the last couple of years. He's been working with all the big Detroit names. Just name them. Royce. So Nolan been working with these dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been working with these dudes. So if, if he got on a track with Royce, that's saying something. Yeah, he got Royce. He got Quelly Chris. Guilty Simpson. Fat Cat. Man, he's he's been putting in work, and finally he's getting the shine. He was on the um, the live colors YouTube music video show thing. He did uh, oranges on there. Go check that out. No ninja oranges off this album. Because you know when you uh, send somebody, this is the rule. If you got to put somebody on to somebody that they never heard of before, and I'm more patient than most people, then you always got to send them to something. That as soon as they hear it, bow, it's undeniable. So that's what that's you just recommended, said. right? Oranges. Orange, that's why I said fuck the whack first. Go check out fuck the whack. Then fuck oranges. the whack. Yeah. So fuck then the when whack. I hear fuck the whack, I'm going to be done. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be convinced. Yeah, definitely. That was got me. And I know you're going to like that. Okay. You've, you've heard it? No. I have not heard this shit. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. no I'm happy that so you that, put me on to this shit. Yeah. So that's Ido, the beauty of it. And Nolan and Ninja with Sporty. Nolan the Ninja with Sporty. Is it Sporty or Sporting? Sporty. -E. This is a double E. Sporty. So Nolan the Ninja out of Detroit with Sporty. And we From also Illinois. have Ito with the beauty of it all. The beauty of it. The beauty of it. All yeah. right. 
So those are your two recommendations. I, I need y'all to go check those out. I may have time to go through some of it. I'm not gonna have time to go through all of it, but y'all can talk to me in the comment section and talk to Matt Stacks and let us know what you think uh, about those two projects. Uh, get in on the, Discord. They get in on Discord. They will get in on Discord. Yeah, Discord. Go to Discord. Mike Powers five nine four six. You heard. Get on over there and, and let's chop it up. And don't forget to call into the live show. In a couple of weeks, we're gonna do a live show, and I want to see some of y'all big mouth motherfuckers. <laughs> you know, because a lot of y'all, y'all want to come at me and I'm cool with it. It's all love. This is the sport. You know what I mean? I don't take the shit personal. If y'all say, somebody come in the comments and say, yo, you bugging. I'm cool with that. I'm not mad at you. But what I will say is bring your ass to the microphone on this discord. When we go live and let's argue about the shit on the air. That's what I like to do. Yeah. That's what, Azalea Banks is back in the news. <laughs> Cloud chasing again or what? <laughs> I'm thinking. No, I think that, I think I, I think I saw that. What was that all about? Um, this was her airing motherfuckers out. Um, she got mad at Nicki Minaj over some shit, and it turned racial. Uh, who Nicki Minaj got a number one hit with? Is it Doja or Doja some Cat. other girl? Yeah, whatever. Azalea said, "You ain't stand up." Let me read the article real quick. Just give me a quick. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but I got it up on my phone. No, but I think so, I saw something. I think I saw a zillion added again on my Twitter today. Something else. I don't know. So she was talking about, I don't know why she brought this up. Another thing that I find fucking funny is Nikki. For all the fucking mouth you have for Cardi B, for talking shit about black women, and now you quiet because you got your little number one with this white bitch. You a pussy ass bitch. Fuck out of here. You mad pussy. I should just Serious? put it don't, it don't say son on there. Yeah, this is this is uh Azalea um so. Banks. I didn't say Iggy Azalea, did I? I said Azalea Banks, right? You said Azalea Banks. Okay. Yeah, so you mad pussy, but and it say dot dot dot. Maybe she did say son. Because when you say mad pussy, you always gotta say, you mad pussy, son. You gotta do it like that. But she said, You mad pussy, you should have got right on that Queen Radio. And you put that bitch in the ground where she belongs, whatever that means. Put that bitch down in the fucking South African Emerald Mine where the fuck that white bitch. Listen, I will that... certainly attack you directly and include your fucking white race in it if your problem with me has to do with me being black, if you being racist. But if it ain't, there's no reason to call her a white bitch in that circumstance and i'm not saying that y'all because it's a white guy sitting here i say what the fuck i want to say but i don't do that type of shit if i got beef even if you white and i got beef with you i'm definitely not gonna refer to your fucking race unless our beef got to do with race there's no need to bring that into it so again you got uh azalea banks wilding but and i know you got might have a take on that it gets more interesting i'm about to blow yeah. your fucking mind Okay. So there's a lot of, she didn't, she didn't stop there. There's a lot of tea I've been wanting to spill about y'all niggas, she said. Y'all don't come to my rescue like Dave Chappelle. Yeah, that was it. The Dave Chappelle, she was talking about the Dave Chappelle's dick size or some shit. She said Dave Chappelle got good D paws. She said, she aired Dave Chappelle out. She said she fucked. So when she say y'all didn't come to my rescue like Dave Chappelle, she's not saying Dave Chappelle came to my rescue. She's saying... Y'all don't come to my rescue just like Dave Chappelle don't come to my rescue. And she continues. Yeah, I remember ruin, that. No, she, said, yeah. she said, I should ruin your fucking marriage. I should tell the fucking world that we fucked. You got some good dick, nigga. Pause. I should tell the whole fucking world we fucked because y'all niggas don't look out for me. So why the fuck I'm going to keep secrets for I'm going to keep. I, I feel uh, you, you remember you remember the uh, the uh, monkey fucking bit <laughs> from uh, from one of his show. I feel like standing there with a the mic, like word. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, listen, me and you, we both old enough to know this. When you get past the age of 30, 35, you start to understand certain things. And Lord knows, I'm only fucking twenty four, right? But. Yeah. When you get past the age of 35, one of the things you understand is very important in your life as men. Men, back me up. No matter how good it look, when you find out that she might be crazy, you got to just leave that alone. You don't touch that coochie. 
if you find out that she, all type of bad that she could show up at your job, your windows end up fucking broke, um, your girl's car <laughs> will get set on fire. <laughs> if you eventually don't catch that crazy through the eyes, you're doing something wrong. You should be able to spot a crazy bitch through the eyes <laughs> in the end. I mean, she got the crazy eyes. I, mm. She, listen, she's on Nicki Minaj, right? And all this for no reason. <laughs> she started the fucking air out. Day fucking Chappelle for no reason. Like, fuck Bird. it. Like, yeah, Dave Chappelle, we fucked. Tell your wife. Like, what type of. <laughs> and then that's when you got to text abroad. Like, yo, you said you wasn't going to blow my shit up. <laughs> But yeah. the, you, the, the deal is, I I sold out that Acelia Banks white noise shit years ago. I stopped paying attention to what she yeah. said. Yeah, yeah. That, that's just how it is. I, I can't. She, she, and she I wanted just to give keep, her another. She chance. kept she, stirring up drama. That's yeah. all she does. When she when she came, she had the thing with Russell Crowe. <laughs> she had Russell Crowe spit in my face. I was mad at Russell Crowe. Said, "Don't you spit in a black woman's face." And then I had to listen to her. And I don't know what the real story is. People are going to talk to me about it in the comment or Discord. But then I guess RZA came to Russell Crowe's defense. And then I said, oh, well, you must have been really acting crazy because RZA took up for this white dude that's supposed to be spitting your face and you're a black woman. So I couldn't see RZA taking up for something like that if she didn't have that shit coming. And I guess she was at Russell Wilson, not Wilson, Crowe at his party. She was wilding at his party and she was getting kicked out. Um, RZA can be funny actor sometimes too. I'm talking to you. Yeah, again. Shit. You see that? You already saw the uh, the live, no, the uh, versus battle? RZA versus what was it? Premier? Primo. Primo. I did not see it. You saw it? Man, he, yeah, I saw it. It was some technical issues with RZA and the mic cord and all that. But That's what I heard. Yeah. But RZA's a funny dude. And that shit came through through the through Instagram actually. He's he's a funny dude. You mean he makes you laugh? Yeah, he's he 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 like dry humor, you know, dry kind of dad humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but in but but in with boo flavor. <laughs> hey, what kind of what what kind of songs were they playing? Like, what did what what did Primo play that just knocked you the fuck out in that battle? I remember, I think he went off, he ended the 20 song streak with Royce Boom. And that is one of oh the best. Oh my God, beats. Boom, I forgot that cut. Mm, that's one of the best beats of all time. Oh my and God. And CNN, Invincible, and Biggie, uh, Unbelievable. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't even, you might correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I don't think he played more than one or two gangster joints. Okay. And then did RZA do anything from Bobby Digital? I don't remember now. My short of memory is stunted. <laughs> yeah. I hope I didn't stump you because you know what you know what the fuck Bobby did the album Bobby Digital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the um La yeah, Rumba and all La Rumba and all that shit. He had a song mm, on there called it. Domestic Violence. Yeah. You heard oh, Domestic that, Violence? That album is so good. Yeah. I had a discussion uh, just this week with some dudes on Facebook. They, they claimed all of the uh, solo efforts from Wu Tang, all of them are classics. The, oh, the very first solo release by all, all, all the all the solo. What do you call them? Uh, what let's, what's, so, what's solo 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 debut? Yeah, right. So, what kind of run was that? What type of run was that? You got the, the, the 30, 36 Chambers album comes out, classic. Iron Man. And, oh. Only built for Cuban links. Oh, my God. Talk about it. Li liquid, liquid Source. Preach. Decal. Yes, yes. <laughs> Uncontrolled Substance with Deck. Talk about it. Man, that, what run was that? I probably forgot one. I feel like I forgot one. Did you say Method? Did you say Decal? Decal. ODB, just, yeah. Um, Ghost Ray, Deck, Deck. You said you said Liquid Swords. Yeah, it's Liquid Swords, of course. That's that's probably my favorite. Supreme clientele. Supreme, yeah. 
I mean, Ghost Ghostface is still doing it, dude. Like, he. I feel like he got. I feel like he got a classic. He got. He keep reinventing himself, and he got a classic in every decade. He got Iron Man in the nineties. He got Fish Scale in the two thousands, and he got Twelve Reasons to Die in the tens. Wow, and I haven't heard he just, that. I'm an asshole. Yeah. He just. He just. He got a run like no other man. He one of the best rappers of all time. Yeah, and a pioneer, like the way he used people always say to me, West Side Gun is a fucking ghost face knockoff. How do you see because that comparison? Of, yeah, because of the Supreme clientele. I can see that. I can see I can see where they're coming from. Mm-hmm. And I agree. And but he just put some Griselda on there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. But yeah, I agree. But yeah. That was a run. That was a that that, that run. Was we ain't never seen nothing like that in hip hop ever, ever. Oh. And them, these guys got so big in in China and Japan, over in Asia, because, because you know they, the, they because, those karate yeah, because, movies. Yeah, because of the samurai thing and yeah. And they would go, they would land in like a place like Japan. It would be like the Beatles touchdown. It was crazy. Yeah. Oh, are what are, what are you? Do you got a foreman grill over there that you cooking Franks on right now? <laughs> You you can prove anything. <laughs> uh, I feel like I got a little I, table I, and it's a foreman grill right there. But I, I, it's unmatched run, yes, but they came pretty close with the boot camp click. Okay, so you got Black Moon and Black the Moon. stage enter the stage. And Smith and Wesson the shining. Right. Helter Skelter with Nocturnal. Yeah. You coming? Yeah. Yeah, you make they a came, they, came, they, came, they came pretty close. They came close. Like um, shout shout the buckshot shorty. I mean, buckshot. shout out. I, mean, I got I got I got Sean Price in my top ten of all time. Dude, Sean Price. Rest in peace. Sean Price. R- that that R- that that shit hit me hard when he died. I was me sitting, too, bro. I, I was sitting on the toilet. Um I was I was taking shit. I was browsing Instagram and someone's like said Rest in peace, strong price, and I could not believe what I was reading. That yeah. shit hit me hard, and I get, I get emotional talking about it. Cause, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean that's real shit. Rest in peace, because he was so, so talented. Um, his freestyle, I forget which video it is where he's um. He he was he was with uh, Ruck, and they was mm-hmm. in the studio and um. Rock Rockness. When he was just talking about when I get mad, I turn green. Grrr, grrr, when he did. <laughs> Dude, I'm like, fuck! Man. I missed, I missed that guy. Imagine the things he and Conway would make. Oh my god! I mean, and 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 Sean Price got a cut with um, he got some cuts with some people that we fuck. I'm, it's not coming to me right now. I know he did a cut with uh, Mac Miller. Yeah, very dope, very dope. Mac Miller. It's called something. Don't listen to this if you're not over 21. Or so, it's called 21. I think it is or over 21. Great fucking cut, and he he's done some things. I, I thought he might have did one cut with somebody from Griselda, but I I'm forgetting. It, they did Griselda. He did cuts with Griselda in 2015. At least they are released in 2015. I don't know when they recorded that shit, but in the early early days of Griselda, he was on there. And Sean Price, I would I would let you know that, and this is a fact. This is not my opinion. This dude has said i will smack you in more different ways than anybody in the history of fucking rap he smacks motherfuckers if he got a 10 song album he's smacking people on eight of the songs <laughs> and, <laughs> and, he not, and he not scared either he just name drop your ass and he just but he says it a different way but every song is like i'm gonna smack the shit out of you and when you look at that, Sean Price and you look at Sean Price in the video, yeah, he will smack. He'll smack the shit out you. Let me yeah. get, don't get it fucked up. Yeah, yeah. He that he's the, he's the best bully rapper. Hey, man, absolutely. <laughs> Rest in peace, Sean Price, superstar Kimbo Price. You know, Donkey Sean, Donkey Sean, Monkey Bars, Monkey Jesus, Bars. Jesus Price, superstar. Yes, yes. Kimbo, yeah, and that that. Uh, first track of uh, Mike Tyson, uh, Alchemist Joint, The Barbarian. Man. Oh my God! Oh my God! Like mm. you ain't want to, you, you didn't want to get into a battle. With, you ain't want to go bar for bar with Sean Price. 
good. Remember, good remember, career. remember the uh, when he covered the hurricane, Hurricane Sandy, was it? I don't remember that. He was he was he was out in New York and he was standing in the streets and the rain was hitting his face and he was standing there with his pink purple swimming goggles with this duck down microphone covering the hurricane Sandy. I might be wrong about the hurricane, but that's Oh, he was, was actually so covering the shit. <laughs> yeah, with with a with a duck down logo down in the corner and hey, man, I missed that dude so much. Sean Price, man, rest in peace. I believe he was forty eight years old, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, when remember, when he but, passed, and yeah. um, I think the new video I saw with him, a it was a thing. video with him and May Mayhem Lauren, yeah, and his I believe Sean Price, wife and daughter, From were in the video, man. yeah. Mayhem Lauren coming with some shit, yo. You ever heard Mayhem Moroccan Lauren. Waters? Yeah, Mayhem Lauren is tight. Yeah, I remember that. Moroccan Waters say? is tight. What did he do with the uh, luxury something with Conway? Uh, Mayhem Lauren. Yeah, he got a song called "Luxury Something" with Conway. Yeah, dope. It's from, it's from it's from that "Look What I Became" album, isn't it? I'm just picturing there. I, this is me picturing the. This is me picturing the cover. Oh but yeah, I thought you was doing the um. John Cena. Is, is, is that where that came from? Because who you was can... doing this all the time? What was the guy's name in G Unit? Tony Yayo. Uh oh! Listen, somebody said. I'm gonna talk about this on an, on an, on another show, but to, to be talk about Lloyd Banks and all them DMX and Lloyd Banks. Wow, wow. What about that? I gotta Lloyd agree. With, I got, I'm going with X on this. I'm with X. I'm with X. Like Banks no, Lloyd Banks is not like top twenty. What? <laughs> yeah, but he got bars though. Lloyd Banks is not top eight. Listen, no, he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not, he's not, I think he's not top three hundred. He's not no. top three hundred. He's not. He got bars like a motherfucker. But his yeah, voice, he got I'm bars. Right here. His voice is too fucking. It's a little bit boring. His style. Yeah. Is, it's like I don't get it. I don't. He don't excite me as a fucking spitter. To be honest with you, nobody from G Unit never did excite me. Fight me in the fucking comment section. Fifty was, I'm gonna, was cool I'm for gonna, a minute. I'm, I'm gonna gonna have to go with Young Buck. Young Buck was my dude. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. The Young voice. Cool. Yeah, the Young voice. The cool. flow. The aggressiveness. Yes. That Get Buck song. Remember that? I don't. No, but Get Buck from Paulo the Don from that. Oh, Paulo the Don had a run, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Paulo the, and Rich Boy with the, Paulo the Don. What was that? Throw some D's. Throw on some the D's. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that motherfucker went hard though. It went so hard. That was, that was a summer. That, that, was, that was that was that was a summer song of two thousand four. Nobody could stop it. Nobody could stop that song. No, nah, throw some D's on that bitch. Just and the sample is let. from a song by a group called Switch. Yeah. Um, I want to say it's fucking a. Maybe it's called Call My Name. I don't want to waste no time. No, but so we we've been out here for a minute. Hey, you know what? But bunk, bank, bank, Banks and X. <laughs> Who? Oh, oh. So which? So yeah, we agree. Lloyd Banks is not top twenty. He's not top to no place. <laughs> How did Fat Man Scoop just try to slide that past? Be a, listen, when you watch the video, which I probably will talk about this. If, if I, you're talking about if you're talking about mixtape rappers from New York, well, there you early, go. There you early go. early two thousand, he might yeah. be top. He might be top ten even. There you go. There you go. But but you know, in the gra in the grander scheme of things, no hell no. Yeah, DMX. He is Fat Man Scoop thought DMX wasn't listening. Cause DMX was looking down like this, and he was just naming them all rapid fire. Da, 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 da. And DMX was like, mm -hmm. he, he kept trying to go, and then he heard Lloyd Banks, and he, whoa, 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 Lloyd Banks. He said, well, Lloyd Banks, and Fat Man Scoop tried to slide that shit past the woodle. What kind of buffoonery is we talk about? We were trying to put Lloyd Banks in the top twenty. Stop it. Oh, Stop there's, it. there's no way there's room for Lloyd Banks in the top twenty. That would, that would mean getting, get, get, that would mean throwing out A Z. Or listen, Guru, there's Nas, Guru, Rock or... him, shit. They're big. You got shit. Biggie, Pac, um, Scarface got to be somewhere in, the, in that fucking top twenty. Yeah, G Rap, Rock him. G Rap. I mean, um, who I'm forgetting a whole bunch of people. Did I say Big Daddy Kane yet? No, but Kane definitely. I mean, Big Daddy Kane absolutely. Uh, I'm, I know I'm forgetting some. I'm doing this off the top of my head, people, because I got a list that's that's sitting somewhere, 
and there's some new cats that's coming into like at least my top 30. I mean, I'm sorry, but Rock Marciano cracked my top 20. Fuck the dumb shit. He cracked the fucking top 20. Give a fuck what nobody say. Freddie Gibbs just cracked my top 20. Freddie Gibbs is in my top 20 right now. That's just dead, dead or alive. Freddie Gibbs is in there. He earned that spot. Flat out. So you, you, you cannot just live in that stale top 20 forever with just the same old dudes forever. You can't. Because no, people, you can't. Are, people will surpass them with both body of work and flows and everything, you know? And who would you take if you had to if you had to take because you got to do this when you make a list. Everybody, when you make a list, this has to be done. Put your top twenty in the comments, yo. Yeah, put your top twenty to, for sure. Put your top twenty in the comments, at least your top ten. But you gotta you can't pick everybody from Wu Tang Clan. But somebody from Wu Tang is in the top twenty, and who do you put in your top twenty from Wu? Because you can that's the rule. You can only pick one or two. So we're going off like entire career, or. Or not, I ain't talking about sales. I ain't talking about worldwide. I'm talking about lyrical acumen only, skill. It's either Giza or a ghost. Hmm. And sorry, Ray and Meth, but yeah, top better... twenty, top twenty is tight. Ray, you not? I got. I would have to. I have to go with Ray. That's me. I gotta go with Ray. And why yeah, do you guys get if, overlooked all the time? Why you guys get why golden arms get overlooked? And that that's the thing. If I go listen to Outcast with Screw It on the Barbeater right now, I'll put Ray right in the top 20. Yeah, you better. Because you talk about one of the best verses in the history of hip hop when you talk about that Screw It on the Barbie verse. Flawless. Flawless. That, that puts all three of them in the top 20. Immediately. Oh my God. Just a just a masterpiece. Just a talk, masterpiece. To talk about tap dancing on the beats. Ray tap danced on that beat. My God. When I first heard it, I was stupid. My jaw was on the floor. I said, did they just put Ray Kwan in the middle of these two dudes? Is that what I just heard? And did he just come on an outcast album and steal the whole fucking song? That what the fuck Ray Kwan just did? Yeah, he stole the whole goddamn song. That was wild. That shit is wild. I mean, I, I, I mean, I got Andre in my probably top 20, top Andre 10. Andre might have to be top five. Yeah. Uh, based on, I'm not talking about output, I'm talking about lyrical ability now. Yeah, because he is, he's a tongue twister. He's fucking, he's. The shit that he does, when you listen to I Can't Wait with Sleepy mm. Brown. <laughs> when you even, even, listen to, even listen to the um, Anderson Park album from last year, Ventura. Always I haven't heard it. No, but Anderson Park is it's probably dude. last year. I think Anderson yeah, Park dropped that yeah, album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he was on the first or second track. He he got bars. He got 60, 70 bars on there. I mean, are you serious? That, that future is it's, man. That future is it's bomb. What about Sorry, uh, with Ti? Have you heard that? Yeah. Oh my God. Um, sixteen ain't enough. <laughs> Rick Ross. Man. man. <laughs> Like we do a hundred three thousand. Don't don't play. Don't ever play with that man's name. He's serious Try about me. this. Try me. No, 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 no. He and don't don't forget about Big Boy either, please. Big Boy, I know, but and and Big Boy can rap. But yeah. He don't. He don't even make top eighty. Oh, they mad at me. They mad at me. They mad at me. Listen, he's not top. Get at him in the comments. And I love Big Boy. But Sacrilege. Now, if you put him, if you put him, if you just say Outcast, first of all. In my opinion, somebody gonna be mad. They go, best rap group of all time. Best duo, two rappers. Best duo, outcast. I, I, I try. I, at this point, I have to divide duos into two rappers duo, one rapper, one DJ duo, one rapper, one rapping DJ duo. Is that all the combinations? Because you got Mob Deep, you got one rapper and one rapping DJ. And then you got, and then you got Cruz. Did you say Cruz? Like. You got Wu Tang Clan. That's a crew. Yeah, I'm talking about duos right now. Okay, just Same. so just uh, yeah, but but two rappers duos. Outcast number one, definitely. To me, it don't matter if the DJ is involved or not, right? So you could bring Run DMC in there with that. You know what I mean? You could bring Outcast. Who else is a good fucking duo? Why am I drawing a blank right now? EPMD. EPMD Mob, now. Mob Mob Deep. Okay. Okay. Well, let me just say this. <laughs> I got. I'm I'm taking it back. Mob Deep. Best duo of all time, Mob Deep. I'm being biased. Maybe, maybe they're like right here, Outcast and Mob Deep. Yeah, 
that that's why I gotta separate them. But yeah, but I'm going outcast. If we're not doing that, I'm doing outcast. The first four albums are classic. Yeah, that's one of the best four album runs in the history of music, really. It's like yeah. the Beatles, the Beatles and Outcast and I don't know, probably yeah. It's, yeah. When you look when you look at how many bangers they have between four albums, I believe we gotta be looking at thirty five, forty bangers. Yeah, yeah. From you know I mean? from from crumbling herb to oh my god, crumbling herb. <laughs> that to song. Get up, get out, and Rosa Parks, and and fucking two adult boys in the Cadillac, and all that shit. Two dope boys. Oh my god, the AT Aliens album. Come on, come on. AT Aliens or Rock Quimini? Why you? Why would you do this to me? <laughs> Wow. No, no. <laughs> oh my god. Aquemini. Aquemini. Aquemini today, AT Aliens tomorrow. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. AT Aliens is so <laughs> the artwork, the comic book shit, yeah. the, the, the the intro, the outro, the beats. Like the title, the title cut. Oh my god. ATL. Yes. Yes, and then the song, Softly. The song I "Growing Old." Soft. I played on. I think I played "Growing Old" on a live, or I fucking cried on camera playing "Growing Old." I think I was there too. Yeah, I think you were. It was, it was like you, me and you and four other dudes. Yeah, <laughs> and I cried like a little bitch when I heard the song, and it just it did something to me. Oh my god! And um, yeah, that, that that's just I let that song do that to me. I'll be art. in the car listen to that song and I will cry when I listen to it. That's but it's art, so yeah. you know. I mean that's what it is, bro. Damn, he said a quimin or AT aliens. That is well, Trump talk about gotcha questions. That's a gotcha question. Yeah. That was in the comments, in the comments, AT aliens or a quimini. Yeah. AT aliens or a quimini, which one, son? Tell me about it. And I mean, really, that's all the notes I got right here for the day. And I, I don't know how long we've been on. When this thing get done recording, we're going to find out how much shit I got to uh, cut off for this to edit it for your view and pleasure out there. Hopefully, I don't have to edit too much. I feel like this was a great conversation. We're still working on the platform, trying to get this thing as smooth and effective as humanly possible to make it as entertaining for y'all. And for y'all feedback, uh, put that in the comment section. Do it on Discord. Tell us what you like, what you didn't like. I'm open to any and all uh, constructive criticism so we can make this better for you. But you will be seeing more of this expensive conversation format uh, with your boy, yours truly, and Mr. Matt Stacks straight out of Norway. Um, and so you got anything to leave the, the folks with, Matt? No. Nah. I know you're about to nah. pass the fuck out. And Just go. join Discord. Get on Patreon if you want to. Just support this dude. Oh, man. That's all Thank I have you. to say. Support this dude. Thank you. And... and, and and should we talk about the the thing, the giveaway, or? Yeah, so um, we will talk about that in another video. Watch, click the next time you see this man's name on the video, click it, because that's coming up real soon. Um, we're going to let you know about something very special that's coming up where you might have a chance to benefit financially in some small way when you click that fucking video. But this has been Expensive Conversation with Matt Stacks. And, of course, I'm Mike Powers, and I'm out.